the prior provincial, the prior of Manawag, Father Ching, the Reverend Fathers and Brothers, Sisters, Brothers and Sisters in Christ. We welcome to the Archdiocese of Lingen and Dagupan as parish priest of the Parish Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary, Father Ching Salibai of the Order of Preachers. The installation of Father Ching gives us an opportunity to return to the meaning of what it means to be a priest. What kind of parish priest does Manawag need now? What kind of parish priests does the Archdiocese of Linga and Dagupan need at this time? What makes a good priest? If you are asked, what is a good priest? Some will say, the good priest must be a holy man who is a mystic, who is prayerful. Some will say, the good priest must be a good devotee of the Virgin Mary. Some will say, a good priest must be a passionate worker for the poor. A good priest must be a brave crusader for justice. A good priest must be an eloquent teacher in the tradition of St. Dominic and St. Thomas. A good priest should be a person with high EQ, high IQ. What makes a good priest? Those are qualities of a good priest. But if you ask me, what is the most important quality that a priest must have? Father Ching, I have only one answer. As a priest, please love your enemies. Please love your enemies. It is part of our job to make enemies because our main task is the proclamation of veritas. And when we proclaim veritas, liars will treat us as enemies. When we proclaim life, killers will declare us as enemies. When we declare integrity and holiness, those who have broken the commandments of God will treat us as enemies. In other words, Father Ching, when your term in Manawag is done as parish priest, I hope you will be able to say, I have made enough enemies to prove that I preach the truth. That I have made enough enemies because I have disturbed the devils in the hearts of peoples. We must be able to make enemies from the correct side. Don't make too many enemies because that would not be priestly. But be ready to face enemies who do not want to recognize the Lord as Lord, who do not like to recognize the church as mother, who do not recognize the absolute truths that we hold on to, who do not recognize the Godship of Jesus Christ, we must proclaim it to them. And if they don't accept Christ, and they don't accept you, and they treat you as enemies, or even if they kill you, the proof that you have been faithful to Christ is that you are willing to stand up for the truth at the risk of losing friends because there is only one friend who should matter to us. It is the one who, call, who called us friends, not slaves. The enemies will wound you, stab you, mock you. The enemies will plot against you will gossip against you or destroy your good name. Even then, take courage. In the life of Santa Teresa de Jesus, 
it was told that one afternoon when Teresa was praying, the devil appeared to Teresa disguised as Jesus Christ. And because the Lord was disguised, the devil was disguised as the Lord, Teresa started a conversation. And the devil responded in the conversation. Until at one point, Teresa exclaimed, You are not my Lord! And the devil, disguised as Jesus perfectly, said, Yes, I'm not your Lord, but how did you know? And Teresa said, My Lord has wounds. You have no wounds. You are not my Lord. My Lord has wounds. You have no wounds. You are not my Lord. The sunset of our lives, the Lord is only, only going to ask us, where are your wounds? Because those wounds will prove that you have been faithful to me. The priesthood is not a beauty contest. We are not here to grow up handsome and flawless. The priesthood is not a championship of muscles. The priesthood is a race to stand up for the crucified Christ at the risk of getting wounded and that getting killed by those wounds. By the wounds of the Lord, the world has been healed. By the wounds of every priest, the parish will be sanctified. Father Ching, that is your task. That is our mission. It is too late. You cannot back out anymore. We have accepted this long time ago. This is only a reminder to love our enemies and be ready for them because your life is not just to make other people happy. It is not to make other people entertained. Because if you only want to make people happy and you never want to create enemies, it means you did not proclaim the truth enough. It means you did not stand up for the Lord enough. Because the Lord had plenty of those enemies who did not like to do the Father's will. In other words, Father Ching, your work here as a priest is to bless, but your work as a priest is also to be a prophet, a prophet to disturb hearts, a prophet to jolt lazy souls. A prophet to disturb consciences. A prophet to bring trouble to society so that all things may be restored in Christ. Father Ching, disturb us. Trouble us. Stick to the truth and proclaim the truth always with love. If you get wounded, the Lord will take care of your wounds. Just ask the Lord to keep your wounds clean and not to allow your wounds to be infected by the germ of revenge. Not to allow your wounds to be infected by the virus of vengeance. To keep your wounds clean. That as they wound you, as they hurt you, as they consider you their enemies, you can still say, there is no greater love than to die for your beloved. Father Ching, welcome to Manawag. Welcome to Pangasinan. Be ready for battle to stand up for the Lord. Bless the people with your wounded hands and feet and side like the Lord himself. Sign, 
of contradiction.